video from the fifth video if do not if you didn't have watch uh, this video for uh, implementing search filter you have to watch the part 5 also i recommend you to watch five, part 5 first then practice this one that i'm creating right now okay let's just move to the visual studio in the previous part we have discussed about all these code uh, related to sorting for now uh, it is better to run it first before implementing the search filter and I will keep trying to make the video short just to deliver the main content in minimal time okay as we discussed in the previous video related to the searching we had uh, sorry sorting we had uh, applied the sorting filter related to two fields that was name when I click on this name, it sorted uh, my table with respect to uh, name. It rearranges uh, with respect to descending. If it is descending, and I click back, it reverts me to the ascending order of the name. Same thing I have applied for the edit date. Okay, now it's time to add a search filter over here. I will do what in this video. I will make a search filter here, search text box here, and we'll whatever we search in that text box related to this table only the filter data will be displayed in that table okay for doing this we need to add some more records in the table but right now i guess two are enough for just checking purpose okay uh, i do not want to waste the time and do not want to make the video long so i will just do what i already have uh, done this work in my blog so i will just copy and paste and explain you okay here is the blog don't worry about this i will provide the link in the description okay as you can see we had uh, coded uh, on our home controller uh, this was the action result method in our previous video in the sorting now right now we have to make a few change i have highlighted uh, that first of all i will have to do what i will have to add a parameter input parameter that is string search string uh, string search string okay do not worry you do not have to type just go over here and copy so what I'm doing, I'm adding a new parameter that is search string, copying it, okay. And come back to the, my controller action. And paste. Okay, the next change it was is to add a new uh, memory that is viewed at a current filter. That will do what? That will hold the input parameter in this view data, okay. Just do it. I'm copying it and paste it over it. It is better to paste before this code. Okay, now the next change is what? The next change is you can see this line of code is the change. If a string is not null, which string? The search string is not null, then we have to apply it. Uh, search filter that we will do what will uh, add a where clause in the uh, this list and we we are searching with respect to name if the username contains whatever we type in the search string if the user email contains whatever the user type so we can search by only two fields in this uh, case you can add so many cases like if you want to search by added date if you want to search by any other field you can just put this or sign and continue this code okay for right now i am just doing for two fields just copy copy and coming back to my this code and paste it over here okay this is the change which i made in my index method okay now it's time to make the change in in what in my view as uh, you can see if search uh, if you have something input in search string then your list will be filtered by 
this line of code okay okay now it's time to go to the action method or oh, sorry view and what changes we are required on the view I also have highlighted or uh, I added a new form uh, okay in the form I added our input text field and which is containing the value view data current filter which I added in my action result okay and there is a submit button which get which do what which submits the search string and the method is get okay all you need to do this copy this code okay form I provided in the below link just copy this and come back to this okay and paste it over here paste and let's just run the code okay now you can see there is a list there is a search filter when I type my name Salman and click on the search you can see the query string is containing the value my name that's only my this record is displayed because uh, there was the second record which is not containing Salman anywhere not even in the name not even in the email so it didn't show the second record it only shows me the record which is containing the name Salman or email it could be email or it could be any name. and when I write Ali you can see there is no Ali in this record so it will not display this record it will show another record and you as you can see okay when I, I can search with respect to the ideas let's just search by these as you can see as expected okay okay that's all for this video thank you for watching have a nice day and please do subscribe to my channel 90% of my viewers are not subscribed and they haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel it motivates me to make some more video thank you for supporting me thank you take care love is